Welcome to the 2024 Oklahoma Main Street Awards Banquet. Over the past year, our Main Street programs have tirelessly dedicated their time and resources to enhancing and revitalizing historic districts throughout Oklahoma. The enduring success of the Main Street four-point approach continues to transform these areas into thriving economic hubs. Tonight, we are celebrating Main Street brilliance, recognizing the outstanding achievements and contributions that have brought vitality and prosperity to our communities. Becoming a Main Street program requires an investment of time, money, and resources. From rehabilitating buildings to fostering economic growth, Main Street initiatives turn vacant historic districts into vibrant spaces that enrich the lives of residents and attract thousands of visitors, proving every day that there truly is no place like Main Street. This year, we received an impressive 169 nominations for the prestigious Main Street Awards. Tonight, we'll announce the finalists in alphabetical order. We ask the award winners to promptly proceed to the photography area for the awards presentations. To become a Main Street program, an applicant must have broad support representing the entire community. A strong organization is the cornerstone of Main Street's success. With enough people engaged in Main Street's efforts, anything is possible for our historic districts in Oklahoma. Main Street is a comprehensive revitalization effort, blending the four points of organization, economic vitality, promotion, and design. While all aspects are crucial, organization is the cornerstone that holds the Main Street approach together. There's never been an Oklahoma Main Street failure where a solid organizational structure is in place. The real strength of Main Street lies in the people who volunteer their time, share their ideas, and donate their resources to implement positive change. Main Street organizations partner with other groups to achieve mutual goals for their communities, and it's the organization point that recognizes and celebrates the local leaders dedicated to preserving their community's history. The first Main Street Organization Award is for Premier Partner. Forming partnerships helps distribute the workload and fosters a sense of Main Street ownership among all participants. The more people involved, the stronger the Main Street program becomes. The premier partner nominees in 2024 are Altus, NBC Bank, Perry, Ditchwich, Ponca City, City of Ponca City, and Prior, Prior Economic Development Trust Authority. And the award goes to Perry Ditchwich. The collaboration between Ditchwich and Main Street of Perry has been pivotal in spearheading various projects and events, with Ditchwich's support extending beyond financial backing to providing hands on assistance and essential equipment for successful execution. Their engagement at events and their involvement in community initiatives, maintenance tasks, and support for local organizations demonstrates their commitment to the community's well-being and vitality. This partnership provides long-term advantages for the community, stimulating economic growth, providing stability through job opportunities, and fostering community engagement. The partnership between Main Street and Ditchwich is positioned to continue and to evolve in order to achieve even greater impact on the community's development and well-being. Congratulations, Perry and Ditchwich. Community education campaigns help the community understand the value of Main Street and the historic area. City officials recognize that the commercial district is where much capital and labor have been invested over the years. Vacant buildings and empty stores yield negative cash flows on those investments. Engaging local youth helps them appreciate their heritage in the downtown built environment. The better informed the public is about the value of historic areas, the more they will support Main Street and take ownership of the process. Raising Main Street awareness is crucial for attracting more supporters to our historic commercial areas. The best Main Street community education campaigns in 2024 are Enid, Main Street Enid Rebrand, and Yukon, Yukon Edge Tools for Your Business Workshop. And the award goes to 
Yukon, Yukon Edge, Tools for Your Business Workshop. Yukon Edge, short for Entrepreneurial Development and Growth Enterprise, was created to enhance Yukon's downtown economy by educating and guiding entrepreneurs through business startup readiness. Promotional efforts targeted prospective and existing business owners through inclusive outreach and personalized invitations delivered in English and Spanish. A workshop featuring speaker panels and resource tables facilitated knowledge sharing and networking among attendees. Strategic partnerships with organizations like SBDC and OMSC ensured successful planning and execution of the event. Positive feedback from participants and attendees led to plans for biannual workshops and the launch of the full eight-course Yukon Edge program within the year. Congratulations, Yukon and Edge Tools for Your Business Workshop. The Outstanding Community Engagement Effort Award recognizes strategic efforts of a local Main Street program in uniting a diverse cross-section of the community for a common purpose. Achieving Main Street success requires the determination of people of all ages. This includes school-aged children, business owners, retirees, and many others, all contributing to progress one step at a time. A broad base of volunteers from all parts of the community is crucial to the program's success and its initiatives. This year, the Outstanding Community Engagement Effort nominees include Enid, Parade of Lights, Ponca City, Unity Mural Project, and Sepulpa, Route 66 Christmas Shoot. And the award goes to Sepulpa Route 66 Christmas Shoot. Christmas Shoot, established in 2022, aimed to create a festive holiday destination and revitalize the city. With a significant increase in foot traffic over the past two years, the shoot highlighted the town's charm and small town appeal. Financial support from generous donors and sponsors totaling $2 million enabled the event's success and expansion through to 2024. The shoot, reminiscent of a Hallmark movie set during Christmas, attracted visitors, increased sales for local businesses, and garnered national recognition as one of the merriest Main Streets. Volunteer teams played a crucial role in monitoring the event and will continue to enhance the shoot for future seasons, including expanding dining options, improving facilities, and incorporating new activities to engage visitors. The diverse group of more than 500 volunteers ranging in age from 8 to 84 years old contributed their skills and enthusiasm, making the Christmas shoot a collaborative and community-driven success. Congratulations, Sepulpa and the Route 66 Christmas shoot. Main Street is a local self-help program with limited funding from public sources. The Best Creative Fundraising Effort Award recognizes innovative methods that ensure the sustainability of Main Street programs. Financial responsibility for operating these programs falls squarely on the nonprofit organizations. While fundraising can be challenging, successful efforts benefit the entire community, both within and beyond the historic area. This award highlights those who have found effective ways to keep Main Street programs thriving. The Best Creative Fundraising Effort nominees include Altus, Altus Shirts, Ardmore Car Raffle, and Woodward Food Truck Throwdown. And the award goes to Woodward Food Truck Throwdown. The Food Truck Throwdown event was established in 2020 and has seen significant growth over the past several years. This year, about 6,000 people attended, and 25 food trucks participated too. Food trucks pay a fee to Main Street, which increased to $125 this year. The event raises money through various means, including artists hosting a pop-up market and sponsorships from both headlining and smaller sponsors. Volunteers play a crucial role in planning and executing the event, with more than 40 volunteers helping on the day of the event. Event goals are to continue to grow attendance, sponsorships, and community recognition with plans for further improvements in the future. Congratulations, Woodward 
and the Food Truck Throwdown. The Main Street Hero Award celebrates individuals dedicated to local Main Street revitalization efforts. These devoted individuals significantly contribute to progress within the historic commercial area. Nominations recognize neighbors who prioritize their work and demonstrate passion for their communities. Main Street heroes make a profound impact on their commercial districts and inspire others through their dedication and achievements. This year's nominees for Main Street Hero are Harry, Phil, and Gayla Salvati, Ponca City, Lori Henderson, and Tahlequah, Brad Hale. And the award goes to Tahlequah, Brad Hale. Brad Hale was nominated for this award for his significant contributions to the revitalization of downtown Tahlequah, demonstrating dedication through physical rehabilitation of Main Street businesses and extensive volunteer work for the Tahlequah Main Street Association. Brad's creative approach to restoration challenges such as repurposing historic materials and enhancing historical significance showcases his craftsmanship and his attention to detail. Additionally, Brad's strong leadership is demonstrated through collaboration with local officials, ensuring compliance with codes and resource coordination for Main Street events, leaving a lasting impact on the community's heritage preservation and economic development. His ongoing involvement with Main Street, his volunteerism, and his partnership initiatives exemplify his unwavering commitment to the organization's success and future growth. Congratulations, Tahlequah's Brad Hale. The Outstanding Public Official Award honors elected officials or public employees who have made exceptional contributions to revitalizing downtown or neighborhood commercial districts. These dedicated individuals not only share a vision for their historic commercial districts, but also play a crucial role in ensuring the long-term success of their local programs. Their leadership, and commitment make a significant difference in the revitalization efforts of their communities. The outstanding public officials in 2024 are Altus, Freddie Perez, Ardmore, Captain Paul White, and Ponca City, Rhonda Scrapke. And the award goes to Ponca City, Rhonda Scrapke. Rhonda Scrapke, Grant Administrator for the City of Ponca City, has been instrumental in the revitalization of Ponca City's downtown historic district for more than 20 years. Her expertise in securing grants, fostering partnerships, and implementing projects has significantly contributed to the progress and reinvestment in the downtown area. Rhonda's leadership roles within Main Street, including serving as president and chair of the promotion committee, have led to notable achievements and recognition, such as winning the Main Street Program of the Year in 2018. Through her ability to secure grants and bring partners together, Rhonda has played a pivotal role in initiatives, like conducting surveys, obtaining national register listings, securing economic development grants, and revitalizing key buildings within the Main Street District. Her partnership and lasting friendships are poised for continued success and collaborative accomplishments in the years ahead. Congratulations, Ponca City, Rhonda Scrapke. Promotion, one of the most visible of the Main Street Four Points, plays a vital role in supporting merchants in historic commercial districts by enhancing the district's image and organizing special retail events that attract shoppers. Each year, Main Street promotions draw thousands of residents and tourists to our state's historic commercial areas. While promotions celebrates the program, it also involves significant efforts to present Main Street in the best possible light. Festivals and events increase foot traffic and boost revenues for local businesses. Effective promotion of historic districts is essential to revitalizing local shopping areas. These awards recognize the dedication and hard work of promotion committees in achieving these goals. The first award in the promotion category is for Best Retail Event. Main Street retail events are crafted to boost sales for merchants in historic commercial districts. Businesses gain a deeper appreciation of Main Street's impact when these events attract new customers and drive repeat sales. 
The best retail events on Main Street effectively draw shoppers to individual businesses, showcasing products and offering compelling reasons for customers to patronize them. These events are pivotal in promoting local commerce and fostering community engagement. This year's Best Retail Event nominees are Altus Barbie Crawl, Enid Fashion First Friday, and Enid Sip, Snack, and Shop Holiday Late Night Shopping. And the award goes to Altus Barbie Crawl. The Crazy Day event in Altus held every August after the Oklahoma Tax-Free Weekend was especially fun and well-received in 2023. The entire town participated with events citywide, including retailers, restaurants, businesses, and bars. The event centered around the global success of Barbie, with each business choosing a unique Barbie-related theme, complete with costumes, treats, decorations, and individual events. The Barbie Crawl game encouraged participants to visit each store, guess the theme, and discover what each shop offered. The event fostered new partnerships and drew people into stores they had never visited before. Congratulations, Altus Barbie Crawl. New promotions not only draw customers to Main Street areas, but also inspire merchants to explore innovative marketing strategies for their products and services. The Creative New Event Award recognizes inaugural events that raise awareness of local businesses among shoppers and potential shop owners too. These fresh ideas often uncover untapped market niches and promise higher profits for merchants in historic commercial districts, fostering economic growth and community vitality. The nominees for creative new events include Altus, 12 Days of Christmas, Enid, Bikes and Barks, and Enid, McVeigh Movie Night on Ice. And the award goes to Enid, Bikes and Barks. The inaugural Bikes and Barks event was a unique twist on the traditional downtown dog fest, featuring attractions like a puppy poker run, dog contest, fashion show, and various dog vendors. Pups received bandanas with the dog fest logo, and local businesses like the Bike Shop and Quickie Mart partnered to include an antique bike show and BMX stunt performances. The event aimed to engage the community by combining a love for dogs with bike stunts and downtown exploration. Leading up to the event, promotions included fun pup dates featuring an employee's dog visiting dog-friendly locations. The public enjoyed these updates and the event's logo was recreated to feature the mascot. Congratulations, Enid Bikes and Barks. The Outstanding Image Promotion Award celebrates visual presentations that captivate tourist residents and potential business prospects, drawing them to the historic commercial district. Often, a customer's initial impression determines their long-term purchasing habits. A compelling image not only grabs attention, but also serves as a cornerstone of your Main Street program. Exceptional image promotion establishes a lasting impression in the minds of visitors, residents, and prospects, shaping perceptions for years to come. The Outstanding Image Promotions nominees are Altus, Altus Merchandise Line, Enid, Main Street Enid Branding, and Ponca City, Unity Mural Project. And the award goes to Ponca City Unity Mural Project. Ponca City is a culturally diverse community with a rich heritage that includes Native American, Hispanic, Marshall Islander, African American, Asian, and Indian populations. Inspired by the Unity theme at the 2022 Main Street Now Conference, the idea for the Ponca City Unity Mural Project was conceived to foster a sense of belonging among all individuals. The mural aims to address and change the history of segregation and isolation by depicting inclusivity and unity. This project serves as a large, accessible marketing tool to celebrate diversity and bring the community together. 
The mural highlights the various ages, abilities, socioeconomic statuses, races, preferences, and educational backgrounds that make up Ponca City. Congratulations, Ponca City Unity Mural Project. The next promotion award is for the premier special event under 1,000 attendees. To qualify for this award, the local program must have developed a distinctive, high-quality event tailored to their community or district, significantly boosting foot traffic for businesses in the historic area. These events may include festivals or other special gatherings that go beyond image or retail-focused activities. The top nominations for a premier special event under 1,000 attendees include Ponca City Dar Williams Project Main Street Mixer, Ponca City Kids Skate Free Day at Ice on the Plaza, and Tahlequah Oaks Wagon Festival. And the award goes to Tahlequah Oaks Wagon Festival. Oaks Wagon is an annual Volkswagen car show and festival organized by Tahlequah Main Street every October in the historic downtown area. The festival began in 2011 with a partnership with Tahlequah Main Street and the Foul Air Car Club, with Tahlequah Main Street resuming hosting duties in 2021. The festival has grown significantly with 900 attendees in 2023, up from 722 and it has now found its permanent home between Downing Avenue and Delaware Street. The event involves 26 volunteers and six TMSA board members, featuring nearly 100 Volkswagen vehicles, local arts and crafts vendors, live music, a beer and bratwurst tent, and a tie-dye station. Attendees can purchase white t-shirts with the Oakswagen logo on it, then tie-dye those on site, creating unique mementos of the festival. Congratulations, Tahlequah Oaks Wagon Festival. The final promotion point award is for the premier special event over 1,000 attendees. These top tier events, whether being a music festival, a food competition, or an anniversary celebration, attract large crowds from across the country. These gatherings are renowned for their quality, and their ability to draw significant spectatorship and economic activity to our historic districts. The top nominees for premier special event over 1,000 attendees include Enid, 30th Annual Enid Lights Up the Plains, Ponca City, Goblins on Grand, and Tahlequah, Red Fern Festival. And the award goes to Tahlequah and the Red Fern Festival. The Red Fern Festival began 15 years ago to honor Tahlequah as the home of where the Red Fern grows. It is one of the largest free, family-friendly events in Cherokee County, drawing more than 30,000 people to downtown Tahlequah. The festival features more than 150 vendors, food, live music, and activities, creating a blend of art, culture, and community. Many local artisans have participated since the festival's inception, with vendors coming from across Northeast Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, Kansas, and Missouri. Held annually on the last weekend in April, the Red Fern Festival is a highlight of Tahlequah's spring events. Congratulations, Tahlequah's Red Fern Festival. Now, let's pause to acknowledge the exceptional contributions of our local Main Street Boards of Directors. Each board member of the year listed in tonight's program is a steadfast supporter of the Main Street mission. Their tireless efforts are integral to the ongoing success of their local Main Street initiatives. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. To our honored board members, please proceed to the photography area to receive your plaques. Let's capture this special moment with a group snapshot to commemorate your achievements.
in our historic districts, it's the physical aesthetic that draws both tourists and residents, encouraging them to frequent and support these areas. Main Street programs uniquely embody history through building designs, street layouts, and inviting outdoor signage that beckon shoppers and newcomers alike. Good design not only showcases the community's image to passers-by, but also reflects pride in its heritage. It serves as the outward expression of a community's personality and is valued by its residents. Main Street programs understand that revitalizing and preserving the historic character of a district begins with a well-thought design. The first design award is for the best placemaking project. This award honors the local Main Street organization for the attractive design and implementation of public improvements such as streetscapes, landmarks, directional signage, public buildings, parks, and outdoor lighting. And the best placemaking project nominations this year include Enid, Permanent Building Lighting, Ponca City, Ice on the Plaza, and Tahlequah, the Cultural Pathway Project. And the award goes to Tahlequah, the Cultural Pathway Project. The Cherokee Nation Cultural Pathway, situated in Tahlequah's Main Street District, showcases a vibrant tapestry of Cherokee culture through outdoor art installations and lush landscaping. The project, completed in January 2022, serves as a multi-use destination celebrating Cherokee heritage and inviting community engagement. Funding totaling $150,000 was sourced from public and private contributions with key involvement from the Cherokee Nation, local artists, community volunteers, city leadership, and various organizations. The Cultural Pathway Project not only revitalizes downtown Tahlequah, but also fosters economic development, cultural tourism, and community pride while preserving and promoting Cherokee heritage for future generations. This collaborative effort symbolizes the essence of Main Street revitalization, enriching public spaces, and strengthening community bonds in Tahlequah. Congratulations, Tahlequah Cultural Pathway Project. The next design award recognizes downtown images enhanced by visually appealing and eye-catching business signs. Branding is essential for establishing identity and reputation. Store signage serves as a crucial tool for businesses to advertise their products, services, and brand quality. Effective branding not only attracts potential shoppers, but also strengthens the communication connection between businesses and customers. The nominations for Best Building Business Branding are Altus, The Enchanted Door, Cherokee, Placing a Flamingo in the Pasture, and Ponca City, Aesthetic State of Mind. And the award goes to Altus, The Enchanted Door. The Enchanted Door, a whimsical and vibrant store in the Main Street Altus District, is a trend-setting and style-influential anchor in the community. A standout feature is a mural by local artist Lindsay McKenzie. It showcases an Oklahoma theme with cotton motifs adding to the store's enchanting ambiance. The store's exterior improvements, including a replica of a floral pattern, enhance its magical appeal, complemented by beautiful displays and meticulous maintenance. Support from the local Main Street program has been instrumental in funding and promoting events, leading to important upgrades like new, high-quality doors for the store. The City of Altus allows artistic murals without signage, contributing to the store's unique and creative atmosphere. Congratulations, Altus, the Enchanted Door. The Best Visual Merchandising Award honors outstanding displays in the Main Street area. Nominations were evaluated based on their comprehensive merchandising strategy, covering everything from storefronts to checkout counters. Nominees creatively showcased their products and services in distinctive ways, effectively engaging customers and enhancing their shopping experience. The nominees for Best Visual Merchandising are Enid, The Turquoise Boutique Sepulpa, Crossroads Cookery Coffee Lab and Tahlequah, I'm a Junie Girl And the award goes to 
Sapalpa Crossroads Cookery Coffee Lab. The Crossroads Cookery and Coffee Lab in Sapulpa is located just feet off Historic Route 66. It offers a unique dining and coffee experience reminiscent of a New Orleans speakeasy or a London pub. The Coffee Lab features a royal blue San Franciscan roaster producing signature blends of house-made coffee, creating an elegant atmosphere for coffee connoisseurs. Guests can enjoy Route 66 themed coffees, cold brew drinks, and purchase house-made coffee blends and artisan equipment. The Coffee Lab's ambiance with restored furnishings, ornate shelves, and antique windows provides a perfect setting to savor freshly brewed coffee while socializing with family and friends. This concept has been successful in drawing visitors to Sepulpa's downtown area, increasing foot traffic and business sales too, with plans for continued growth and expansion in the future. Congratulations, Sepulpa and Crossroads Cookery Coffee Lab. The next design awards are for best interior design projects. This category includes those projects under $25,000 and those projects over $25,000. While building exteriors attract people to our historic and neighborhood commercial districts, it's the interiors that make them feel comfortable and inclined to linger. Retailers attest that the longer people stay in the historic commercial district, the more likely they are to make purchases. Interior design projects should be mindful of the building's character, enhancing the overall appearance of the district and serve as a model to encourage other improvements in neighboring interiors. This year, the finalists for Best Interior Design under $25,000 are Durant Old Ice House, Enid Cafe Valare, Ponca City The Harvest Hall, and the award for Best Interior Design Under $25,000 goes to... Ponca City, The Harvest Hall. The Harvest Hall revitalized an old Union bus station building into a stylish event space featuring high ceilings with original tiles and exposed brick walls that offer a charming backdrop for gatherings and photography. The renovation project, totaling $8,000, transformed the space with fresh paint, courtyard upgrades, and furnishings to create an inviting and versatile venue for various events. The design approach focused on creating a modern and trendy ambiance with custom wood tables, modern farmhouse decor, and comfortable seating enhanced by ample natural light and textured elements like velvet and leather furniture. Additionally, special attention was given to meeting ADA requirements, ensuring wheelchair accessibility with modifications made to the bathroom to accommodate all guests. Congratulations, Ponca City, the Harvest Hall. And now this year's finalist for the best interior design project over $25,000. Those nominees are Altus Hudson Hall, Sepulpa Crossroads Cookery Sepulpa Gasoline Alley Classics And the award goes to Altus Hudson Hall Hudson Hall, a formerly overlooked building in the downtown district, underwent a remarkable transformation. The initial state of the building featured red tin, boarded up windows, layers of old materials, and neglect. Through careful restoration, the hidden history of the building was uncovered, showcasing its breathtaking architecture. Significant efforts were made to salvage and enhance the original features while introducing modern elements like a grand staircase, LED lit bar, and crystal chandeliers. The $1.4 million project focused on preserving the building's historical integrity with meticulous restoration of the original facade, brickwork, and interior details. Additionally, special attention was given to meeting ADA requirements without compromising the aesthetic appeal of the design. Congratulations, Altus Hudson Hall. Great building design comes in diverse sizes, shapes, and colors. Building facades serve as the primary visual identity for your historic commercial area, making crucial first impressions on tourists, potential shoppers, and new businesses. 
Since these districts often don't receive a second chance for a first impression, these initial visuals are critical. Our next award honors building facade improvements costing less than $25,000, showcasing cost-effective enhancements that elevate the district's appeal. The nominees for Best Building Facade Rehabilitation Projects under $25,000 include Altus First Baptist Church and Perry Dreamer Properties Marine Nutrition. And the award goes to Perry Dreamer Properties Maroon Nutrition. Extensive renovations revitalize the Maroon Nutrition building into a mixed use space blending retail and residential elements. The project, completed in 2023, involved meticulous restoration of historical architectural elements, aligning with efforts to rejuvenate downtown Perry. Dreamer Properties received a $10,000 Main Street grant for exterior improvements, enhancing the property's value and contributing to the area's economic vitality. The rehabilitation project adhered to preservation standards, maintaining the building's character while updating it for modern use, resulting in a successful blend of historic preservation and necessary repairs. Congratulations, Perry, Dreamer Properties, Maroon Nutrition. The next Main Street Design Award recognizes significant facade rehabilitation projects costing more than $25,000. Historic building rehabilitations not only enhance the physical uniqueness of your property, but also contribute to the charm of the entire historic district, attracting local customers and tourists, and thereby fostering business growth for occupants. Moreover, occupied buildings offer improved security and safety for shoppers and employees alike. The nominees this year for Best Facade Rehabilitation over $25,000 include Altus Hudson Hall, Perry Iron Horse Motel, and Sepulpa Gasoline Alley Classics. And the award goes to Altus Hudson Hall. Hudson Hall underwent a remarkable transformation, restoring its original historical architecture and finishes. The project, with a total cost of $1.4 million supported through bank financing, owner investment, and community grants, aimed to preserve the building's grandeur. For example, the city of Altus' big grant aided in restoring the exterior and purchasing windows. The rehabilitation revitalized a once overlooked building into a thriving modern space while preserving its historic charm encouraging further investment in the downtown area. By carefully following preservation standards and respecting the original character and craftsmanship of the property, Hudson Hall now stands as a testament to historic restoration and community revitalization in Altus. Congratulations, Altus Hudson Hall. If your community seeks economic growth opportunities, look no further than your historic commercial district. The businesses there form the core of the community's commercial and real estate wealth. It's from this core that future growth will occur through expansions, new startups, and customer development. When property owners recognize the limited demand for neglected buildings and businesses prioritize customer loyalty, economic vitality naturally happens. Our first Economic Vitality Award is for the best adaptive reuse of a once empty historic building returned to productive use. This category includes those projects costing less than $25,000 and those costing more than $25,000. First, the top nominations for best adaptive reuse under $25,000 are Duncan, Jeannie K Designs, Ponca City, the Harvest Hall. And the award goes to Ponca City, The Harvest Hall. The former Union Bus Station building underwent multiple transformations over the years to meet evolving community needs, transitioning from a busy bus station with a hotel to various commercial uses. Presently, the building has been repurposed into the Harvest Hall, a venue that hosts a diverse range of events such as weddings, baby showers, and photography sessions. 
The owner is actively involved in community initiatives, ensuring the building's historical integrity is maintained. Since opening in January 2023, the Harvest Hall has hosted more than 100 events, bringing hundreds of people to the district and contributing to the area's vibrancy. The venue offers a stylish and versatile space and fills a need for event venues in Ponca City. Congratulations, Ponca City, the Harvest Hall. And now, the top nominations for Best Adaptive Reuse over $25,000 are Altus Hudson Hall, Enid the Turpin at Gaslight, and Sepulpa, Sugar Llama's Bowden Building. And the award goes to... Sepulpa, Sugar Llama's Bowden Building. The Bowden Building opened in 1910 as a two-story brick building and thrived due to the Frisco Railroad's influence on Sepulpa's development. However, by 1916, the Commerce Center shifted and Sepulpa saw changes as businesses and workers moved away. Over the years, the building faced various ups and downs with significant renovations carried out in 2022 by contractor Will Berry, transforming it into a vibrant part of downtown Sepulpa with Sugar Llamas as a tenant. The renovation, supported by historic tax credit programs and local organizations like Sepulpa Main Street, has sparked interest in restoring more historic buildings in the area and contributing to downtown revitalization. The Bowden Building now stands as a symbol of adaptive reuse, attracting visitors with its unique features and demonstrating how thoughtful restoration efforts can breathe new life into old structures. Congratulations, Sepulpa, Sugar Llama's Bowden Building. The next Economic Vitality Award is for the Outstanding Entrepreneurial Endeavor Award. It recognizes an innovative business, business leader, or group that has started a new venture, promoted entrepreneurship, and cultivated an entrepreneurial spirit within the historic commercial district. The top nominees this year for Outstanding Entrepreneurial Endeavor include Perry Willow Lane, Ponca City, Merrick's Custom Leather Handbags and Boutique, and Sepulpa, Gasoline Alley Classics. And the award goes to Perry Willow Lane. Maya Boshi, owner of Willow Lane, was inspired by her parents' entrepreneurial efforts to bring life, commerce, and community to downtown Perry. This in turn led her to become an entrepreneur herself. Having spent summers in her parents' business, she started her own secondhand boutique at a very young age. Willow Lane's mission focuses on offering affordable, quality clothing and introducing sustainable fashion to rural Oklahoma. The establishment of Willow Lane stemmed from a college business plan and received support from the community through grants and loans. The boutique prioritizes community involvement hosting of events, and initiatives to meet local needs, as well as fostering a sense of belonging in Perry. Congratulations, Perry Willow Lane. The Outstanding Business Expansion Award recognizes a business in a historic commercial district that has successfully expanded its operations, enhancing the area's revitalization. By increasing its range of goods and services, this expansion attracts more customers to the business and drives the overall growth of the district. The top three nominees for Outstanding Business Expansion are Ponca City, My Media Matters, Sepulpa, Hot Shots Healthcare, and Stockyard City, Boxcar Woody Furniture Company. And the award goes to Stockyard City, Boxcar Woody Furniture Company. In 2017, Boxcar Revival launched the Made For You and Me brand, Boxcar Woody, offering raw boxcar planks to the public in honor of Woody Guthrie. The business expanded over the years, moving to Stockyard City and opening the Boxcar Woody Furniture Company. Their growth was supported by the community's strong backing and strategic planning involving market research, financial management, and customer feedback. By focusing on creating lasting relationships with customers and staying engaged with the local community, 
Boxcar Woody Furniture Company not only caters to its existing clientele, but also attracts new customers, contributing to the vibrancy and growth of Stockyard City as a whole. Congratulations, Stockyard City Boxcar Woody Furniture Company. New businesses play a vital role in the Main Street development process, injecting fresh life and excitement into the local districts. They attract new patrons and enhance the appeal of established businesses, thereby increasing property values. These newcomers draw residents and out-of-town shoppers to our vibrant historic areas. To qualify for this award, the nominated company must be located within the Main Street area and have been in operation for at least one year, but no more than three by the end of 2023. The best new businesses nominees are Altus, Shape Up, Ponca City, Merrick's Custom Leather Handbags and Boutique, and Sepulpa, Reed Architecture and Interiors. And the award goes to Sepulpa, Reed Architecture and Interiors. Reed Architecture and Interiors relocated to historic downtown Sepulpa in 2020, breathing new life into a previously underused 1907-era building. With a staff of 15 full-time team members, the firm actively engages in downtown preservation efforts. They play a pivotal role in various projects as the project manager of the city's downtown master plan. By supporting local businesses, participating in community events, and contributing to downtown marketing, Reed Architecture enhances the area's economic growth and vibrancy. Their motto, Serve by Design, underscores their commitment to serving clients, team members, and the community as a whole. Reed Architecture and Interior's dedication to community engagement and to historic preservation has made a lasting impact on downtown Sepulpa. Congratulations, Sepulpa, Reed Architecture and Interiors. The Business of the Year Award marks a pinnacle in the economic vitality process, celebrating exceptional contributions from established businesses at the center of our community. Businesses within Main Street districts play a crucial role in the commercial advancement of our areas. The dedication of these champions to the Main Street process significantly influences the success of our community's revitalization efforts. This award recognizes the Main Street business that has shown the greatest commitment and proactive involvement in revitalizing their surroundings. The nominations for Business of the Year include Altus, The Bootery, Ardmore, Casa Romo, Ponca City, Aesthetic State of Mind, and Tahlequah, Kroner and Bayer and the 2024 Main Street Business of the Year is Ardmore Casa Romo. Showing immense dedication to downtown, Casa Romo stands out as the sole Hispanic restaurant in the district, contributing significantly to foot traffic and supporting other small businesses. Owner Daniel Romo's commitment to preserving history is evident through his work on both the Ardmore Main Street Board and the Historic Preservation Board and by remodeling the building utilizing historic tax credits. The lunch buffet at Casa Romo addresses parking challenges with quick service. The restaurant draws a large crowd during peak hours, and Casa Romo's consistency in food quality and inviting atmosphere have played a key role in their success for more than 23 years. Casa Romo's remarkable support and dedication to downtown make them an essential part of the community fabric and we're pleased to acknowledge them for their deep commitment to the area. Congratulations, Ardmore and Casa Romo. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us now in giving a heartfelt round of applause to all Main Street Award nominees. Every local program represented here tonight is a winner, contributing numerous success stories to the legacy of the Oklahoma Main Street program. They remind us all that there is no place like Main Street.